Hello, I'm Carmen Tyler. I am the Behavioral Health Specialist at Richmond Health and Wellness Program. I'm going to be talking to you today about mindfulness. Kathy and I are going to be demonstrating some relaxation techniques for you. First, I'm going to give you a little introduction about something called mindfulness. Mindfulness is a way we can tap into the connection between our bodies and our brains to help ourselves feel better emotionally and physically. Mindfulness means slowing down and really noticing what's happening in the present moment, whether it's things around you, actions you're taking, thoughts you're thinking, emotions you're feeling, or what your senses are telling you. It's just paying attention and accepting that these things are happening and you don't judge whether they're gonna be good or bad. When we're being mindful, it's like giving our bodies a mini break and our minds. Our heart rate and breathing slows. Our blood pressure goes down and we feel calmer. If we make mindfulness a regular practice, studies have shown that it can improve our energy and even help us to sleep better. Research has also found that practicing mindfulness can decrease symptoms of anxiety and depression and help people to focus more and feel more positive and satisfied with their lives. There are many ways to practice mindfulness, but Kathy and Carmen are going to demonstrate two simple techniques that you can do anywhere. This first technique is called the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 technique. First, get comfortable as you sit in a chair or lie down. Now, take in a deep, slow breath and let it out just as slowly. Now quietly look around and notice five things you can see. Say them in your head or out loud. I see a tree. I see sunshine. I see leaves moving. I see a purple flower. I see three buds on the flower stem. Take your time, there's no hurry. Next, pay attention to your body and notice four things you can feel or touch. Say them in your head or out loud. I feel the chair beneath my body. I feel the mouse in my hand. I feel the air conditioning blowing on my hair. I feel the cool floor under my feet. Now listen. What are three sounds you can hear? Say them in your head or out loud. I hear music. I hear birds chirping.
I hear the air conditioner blowing. Next, say two things you can smell. If you can't smell anything right away, that's okay. It's okay to sniff something. I smell the soap on my hands. I smell my tea. Last, name one thing you can taste. If you can't taste anything, name a favorite food you like to taste. I like to taste brownies. Now take another deep, slow breath and let it out slowly. This is an exercise that you can do anytime, anywhere. Hello, my name is Kathy Falls. I'm a nurse practitioner with the Richmond Health and Wellness Program. Carmen shared with you a little about mindfulness techniques that can help you connect your mind and body in a positive way. As Carmen said, mindfulness is simply the moment to moment awareness of our thoughts, our feelings, our bodily sensations, and the surrounding environment. It is this present moment awareness that can help us to slow down and decrease stress and anxiety. I'm gonna share with you a mindfulness technique called mindful breathing. The purpose of mindful breathing is to ground you in the present moment so that you can let go of worry about the past and the future. When you take a deep breath in, your heart rate increases. When you exhale, your heart rate slows down. Repeated slow, deep breaths will naturally bring your heart rate in sync with your breathing. This ultimately will release a hormone called endorphins that has a natural calming effect on your mind and your body. As your muscles relax, this allows your blood pressures to dilate and expand, which improves circulation and lowers blood pressure. With each deep breath, your heart rate slows and your blood pressure lowers. Research has shown that mindful breathing can also reduce depression, help manage chronic pain, improve sleep, and better control your body's reaction to stress and anxiety. I'd like to walk you through a deep breathing exercise that can make you feel calmer and more connected to your mind, body, and emotions. Get in a comfortable seated position. You wanna be in a position where you can relax and where your breathing won't feel restricted. Close your eyes and rest your hands comfortably on your knees. Bring your attention to the weight of your body on your chair. Take a few slow, deep breaths. While you're breathing, relax your shoulders, your stomach muscles, the muscles in your face, your hands and your legs. Let go of the tightness in your body. Now, bring your attention back to your breath. Notice how it feels in, when you breathe in through your nose and your mouth. Notice the movement of your chest and your stomach as you breathe in and out slowly. Allow your breathing to be natural and relaxed. Notice each time you breathe in and out. As you exhale, focus on the sensation without judgment. Just notice how you feel. 
If your mind wanders, that's okay. Just gently return your attention to your breath. Allow all your thoughts and feelings to come and go. Once your time is up, notice how you feel. Does your body feel different? Are you more relaxed? Just as you did during the breathing exercises, try to notice, but not to judge. There's no right or wrong. Thank you for practicing mindful breathing with me today. Mindful breathing can be done in the quiet of your apartment with gentle music playing in the background. It can also be a tool that you can use during stressful times during your day. The more you use this technique, the more natural it'll feel, and you can use it to decrease stress and anxiety that you may feel throughout the day. Thank you.